Hey guys, so three weeks ago I posted a poll on what weapon you guys thought was better. The power jack or the hot hands. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about it. That's what this video is for. The power jack won the majority vote, but we gotta play the game and find out ourselves and judge on how powerful, practical, and the speed boost the weapons give. So in this video, we are going to be comparing the power jack versus the hot hand. Also if you guys stick around to the end, you'll view my reaction to some of those comments left on that post. Let's get started. Alright, first the hot hand. Alright boys, it's your boy Dragon. Back here with another Try Hard Tuesday. You know, on Digger Keep, we're about to get some slapping frags. No, I'm just kidding guys, but let's get this demo right here. Oh shit. Okay, he scared the hell out of me when he charged because, you know, they'll actually kill me. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta run. Um. Oh. Well, okay. Um. Let's let's get the spy. He doesn't have a lot of health. Okay, we got him. But that was an our kill. God damn it. Nope. Okay, there's no way to counter if a demo is charging at you like. You just fucked pretty much. Like, what are you gonna utilizing the speed boost to get away? What is this spy doing? Is he... was he trying to trick stab that demo while I was right yes. there? Yes. You know, it'll be cool if they had the thermal thruster in this, so I can like go up there. And I'm, I'm literally just trying to hit and run, cause I know this. Weapon doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, let's. Okay, they're capping. Oh no, nope. That was enough slaps to kill him, but we got him down to one health. <sighs> Man. Yeah, this weapon has a nice crit rate, like, I'm getting crits all the time with this, but I still can't get a kill. Come here. Oh, where is he going? He's gonna t oh, hello there. try to trick step. Oh, no. My appreciation, I right, mean. and this demo shows up out of nowhere, and he escapes. God damn it. Come here. Why are they scared of a hot hand pyro? Ooh, ooh. No, no! Oh, no. You know, I really gotta think about my melee hits when I'm using this weapon. And we lost, got 10. Alright. It's power jack in time. Holy, okay. That's a nice crit. You know, I'm confident enough to get the heavy. Okay, so this also has a high crit chance. Oh no. Okay. Ah, I'm too fast. Can't catch me. Come here. Alright, let's let's get capping. None of our teammates are doing that right now. Oh no. Oh no! I heard that charging and I'm like, oh crap. Yeah! Wow. That heavy just got destroyed. <laughs> he was charging with like full crits and everything. Oh no. We're good. Come on, let's win this. That's a spy. And why isn't he dying? Okay, there we go. You just watched me use both weapons in Degrowth Keep. So I think it's safe now to judge them. 
Which weapon does more damage? This isn't a hard question. It goes to the power jack, of course. You kill most classes in two hits because the second one is probably going to be a random crit. Yeah, I can get a quick slap with the hot hands, then run away. But usually when I'm mailing someone, I'm trying to kill them, then run away. You know, the power jack rewards this with 25 health points every kill you get. It doesn't mean that it's bad for escaping, like you guys saw in Eclipse, this weapon is actually good at escaping. Ah, uh, I'm too fast. Just because of the speed it gives you without requiring a hit. That hot hand, yeah, you actually gotta hit someone, but if I do hit them, they'll react and try to kill me. This one goes to the power jack again. That speed boost of the hot hand is not gonna help me because that stuff wears off. It is too short of a boost, plus if I'm trying to escape a large group of deadly players while with low health, I can't just turn around and slap them, then keep running. With the power jack, I feel like I'm a slightly slower scout. That's only with 15% faster movement. This weapon is good for rollouts too because I don't require hits. So I can just go to mid fast easily. The last one also goes to the power jack. The power jack decimated the hot hands in this competition. But there is something that hot hands is better at. It's a fun weapon to use just to goof off. You humiliate your enemies and they see that too. It's just a goofy weapon really and that's what it's good at, being goofy. So to the hot hand fans, you can have an imaginary point. Just like I promised, I'll be reacting to the comments now. Hot hand, cause it's satisfying to slap your enemies with the thought hand. Yeah, it is fun slapping people with the hot hand. Imagine slapping somebody in real life and it making that loud ass sound. Memes. Yes, I agree. It's good for the memes. I don't play this game seriously, so I took the fun option. Well, for me, I take the game seriously sometimes, and sometimes I don't, so both weapons are options for me. If I really tried, I could do some weird stuff with this power jack and make it a funny playstyle. Fucking thoughts. I get it that thought is the nickname for the hot hands, but I have one thing to say. BE GONE THOUGHT! This. This question is a joke, right? It depends how you see the weapons. You could be playing TF2 for the lols and have the hot hand be your favorite melee. But you know what's a joke? Playing TF2 on console. That shit is so bad. Alright, that's all the comments I'm gonna be reacting to. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you guys got any weapons you'd like me to compare, then leave that comment. Later.